You get to choose the past or the future. Okay, well, hold on. So maybe I'm the past because I'm like the young, energetic. You're one. old. Well, I'm older than you, but you're... Welcome to Rusty Lake, a place where memories are captured in little cubes. You are here together. You both have to make a choice between the past and the future. Make sure you don't make the same choice. Okay. You can pick. I don't care. I will happily take the other one. Okay, I'll be the future. Okay, I'll be the past. Clicked. Did, Did the, the other, other person, person choose, choose the, the past? <laughs> yes. Yes. Can you, you hear the person the in the person future? Do you the person in the future? Yes. Do you say here? No, I said yes. It's a it's... choose between the butterfly or the bee. Make sure the person in the future chooses the same. Okay, let's choose the bee. Why the bee? Because stingers. Like yeah, if I had the to butterfly myself, is beautiful. I'd rather be a bee than a butterfly. All right. Okay, sick. You've chosen the bee. Did the person in the future choose the same? Maybe. Did you? Yes. Yes. I am ready to start, but is the person in the future also ready? Yes. I'm ready. Let's make some memories. Do you think it automatically puts us in the game together? I think so. For real. The future I chapter one. Yeah, I'm clicking to continue. Are you the past chapter one? Yeah, I'm the past. Okay. Uh, so cool. I've got it like a computer monitor here. There's a power okay. button. What do you see? Okay. Seeing? I have an envelope, and it looks like a, you know, the numpad on your computer. Like it looks like I got nine buttons. It could be a, I don't know what it could be. Okay, I have a num, I have an arrow pad kind of thing too, with an enter and an X, and there's a disk drive on the computer. Okay, I, I only see an envelope and the the number pad. So I'm gonna, I it, the envelope is like pulsing. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm turning on the power. On the computer. Yeah, I've got a letter. Are you ready? I'm I'm uh, booting up here. Oh, do I need to write stuff down? Well, I don't know. Maybe we have okay. to figure this out. We don't even know what the puzzle is. We don't even know but what I this game note, is. So I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. Yeah, I don't. What is this called? What is the game called? The past. The, pr the past and the future. Pa the past within. It's something like that. <laughs> We're really well prepared for this one. My dear daughter Rose. Okay, that's me. If you find this letter. I'm no longer part of this world. Although there is hope, over the last couple of months, I've been working on a device to establish contact with a trustworthy person in the future. Be that, aware... That's me. Correct. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Puzzle solved. Be aware, the room you are in now may be affected by this person. Please open this box first and await further instructions. Your loving father, Albert. So this is January 1926. 1926. I'm ready to get down. All all I'm doing is waiting for further instructions now. Okay, so I've I turned on the computer and it says uh, on the monitor, "Welcome to Cubicle Device 018F." This cubicle device holds a memory that contains the room of the person in the past. That's me. Okay, press enter to continue. Me? I I'm hitting enter to continue. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm waiting on you to tell me something. Oh, there we go. You're about to establish a connection with the person in the past. Warning, any interaction may affect the room inside this device. Similar to what okay. you got. Okay. To verify yeah. access, please submit the year of memory. 1926? 1926. Correct. Good. You. That was actually good recall that you could just pick that. that yeah, I, I didn't write it down at all. Oh. Yeah, I better get a pen. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Access okay. granted. Please communicate the following information to the person in the past. Okay. Okay, you ready? I've got a grid of nine. Well, like that's you... my number pad. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So top left, top right, middle, bottom left, bottom right, like an X. Okay, I'm in. Okay. I have, what is this? Like a Polaroid? Oh, I got matches. You, you opened the box? I opened the box and I got matches. Okay. Okay. Okay, my screen's now going it... crazy here. It wants me to scroll down to zoom out. Okay, so hold on now. I got a different scene, bro. A different scene. Are you ready? Yeah. Hold on, I might have di I might have multiple scenes. Okay, okay. I match. I think a match thing dropped from the sky. Matchbook. Well, yeah. I can't imagine what you're looking at right now. Like, okay, okay. I got okay. a dial too. I'm looking at what appears to be the entrance to the room. Oh, I can. And... I can. I can uh, flip around too. I didn't realize that. Okay, so go to the right, and then we'll probably be looking at the same stuff, or the okay. same. Like, do you have a door to your right? 
Uh, there's some lockers. I'm in like what looks oh, like a lab, and it looks like it's cool okay. or something because oh. there's like frost oh. coming down from above. Okay, so I thought maybe we we're like past and future in the same room, but that doesn't seem to be the case. There is a door behind me from where, like opposite from where the computer is on the table. Okay, so yeah, we could be in the same room in different times. Like maybe this is now that room. I would imagine that's probably the case. So look at your door. Look at your door and then we'll operate from there. Okay. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, so if... if oh, interesting. You can click into the stuff. So like my clock, I can click into. Zoom and I into can it. Adjust the times. Yeah. Now this computer is actually multi-sided. So it's a it's a big cube, uh -huh. and do, do, you played that uh, that exploding game, the one where uh, don't talk, keep and, talking, nobody explodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind oh, of like that. Yeah. We're on different sides. There's different puzzle-looking okay. things. Okay. Um, I opened the light and I took the candle out. So on my screen it says family verification required to continue. Please activate input panel P17 and submit correct painting sequence. Okay, that press might... X to return. That might be with me i'm not sure so there's a if i switch to one of the sides there's a place where i can put this dial i think okay i put it in there and it, there's two lights the a red light is blinking and i can turn the dial to the green light and okay. it's giving me four panels with images on them so there's the moth a, a house a, it, like a drawing of a person it's kind of like a gingerbread man and then yeah. the outline, these are all kind of outlines. And then the last one is an outline of it. Looks like a guy on the left, tall guy and a short person. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at, okay. So I have four picture frames on this other wall. Okay. One is called the house. Yeah. And there's, there's a guy, a shadowy figure standing outside this house. Okay. Um, one is the bee. Yeah. One is a picture of Rose and Albert. Albert is tall. That's okay. why my that's my father. Yeah. And I'm Rose, redheaded Rose. Okay. And then another one is like a crow or a raven on some branches. Now, are they configured in a grid? Well, they're in. Yeah, I mean, they're in a. They're they're four pictures arranged in a square. Okay. So which one's in the top left? The house. Okay. So I can change the top left image to the house, and then top right, the bee. Okay. And then bottom right. Uh, Rose and Albert. And then bottom left? The the bird. There now, we go. Oh, it's doing something. Okay, what's it doing? Describe it's activating it. things and it's changed the images. Sweet. So now in the top left, there's an upside down cross. Okay. In the top right, there's a circle with uh, like a cross in the middle. Okay. Uh, and then in the bottom left, there's a, it's like a thermometer. Okay. And then in the bottom right, there's a square, but it's separated into three parts. One of them is like a wide rectangle. Okay. Then the bottom half is two squares. Okay. I don't think I have anything like that currently. Okay. But... I don't know what it means, but look around. Maybe there's a place where you can change something in the past. Yeah, maybe. So I do have oh, there's this a mouse. like, what? A mouse is running around the table. I don't have that. I don't have a mouse. But uh, I do I have, have a... On that, in that same view with the picture frames, I do have, like, a, a chess board. But it's not a full-size chess board. It's six by six. A, B, C, D, E, F along the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six across the, the left side. Okay. Um, I've got a pot that I've picked up. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, this is something. I've got this box in this... Oh, <gasps> You said upside down cross, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got something? Because I'm reading yeah. the screen now, and it says family access acquired. Communicate yeah. symbol sequence. Warning, yeah, the room inside this device it. May, it. may suffer from overheating. Use three sliders to adjust smoke gas discharge. Okay. Um, so I might die. Tell me, go back to those symbols. Yeah. Go back to those symbols yeah, that yeah, we were yeah. talking about. And uh, I've got four options in a square as well. Yeah. So top left. It's the upside down cross. Okay, I've got that. Top right? It's the circle with uh, the cross in like, the middle. Okay, got it. Yeah, bottom left. Thermometer? Like a little a circle yeah, on the bottom yeah. with a line going yeah, up? I got you exactly, yeah. And then and on then bottom, bottom right, right, it's kind of like a window pane. It's an elongated it's it. a square. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I've got... Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff 
already. Okay, I've got matches, a candle, a pot, and a and, and coal. And then I do have a. Uh, I put the coal inside this heater that's on this wall. Uh oh. So that's gonna heat me up probably. Okay. I'm. I'm. I've, the heat is on. But I've and I've got this little. Uh, I've got this little. Um, oh man, like hash marks, like uh, abo above the the heater. There's like yeah. five lines with a with a line striking through it. The line on the leftmost is um, on. Is there is there three? three times. So the this thing that I use to control the heat or something is kind of similar. Yeah. It's three sliders. Yeah, yeah. One on top of the other, and there's there's notches, five notches. Yeah. So I think that's I have to set the sliders. Way to describe it. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I have, but I can't do anything with that. So can you move one of your sliders? I can move all the sliders. Yeah. Move one. Just move one. I'm, I'm, uh, moving, one. I'm moving them around. Okay, nothing's happening on my end. Is there um, an indication of where the slider should be? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first row is all the way left. Second row is all the way right. Third row is second slot. Boom. Okay, so this... <laughs> Cool. So, something there's like gas coming out of the side and there's okay. a battery i took the battery oh my room is filling with soot uh hold on yeah oh, I, I put this out oh shit. smoke gas discharge adjusted activate ventilation system ventilate bro ventilate me ventilate okay 13 15 so there's a clock there's another uh thing component on the other side give of me this the, give me the clock i have the clock 13 15 so 115 yeah Yep, yep, yep. Oh, right, because yep. you have an analog clock. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, so I'm venting, it seems like. Oh, oh, oh my oh. picture. A picture above the casket just fell off. Yeah. I didn't tell you about the casket yet because we haven't got there. That piece of paper with the moth or butterfly or whatever moved out of the way, and there's some kind of screen okay. and a key that I've picked up. Photo so slide. I found, oh, it's a photo slide. I found a candelabra thing, and it's it's got uh, five candle slots. And two are missing. So I put the candle that I had in there, but it looks like it's still missing another candle. Okay. Oh. So, yeah, go oh. Ahead. Okay. <laughs> the picture that fell, it broke, right? And it shattered into pieces. Underneath the, the broken pictures, it says, Dear Rose, wear the mask yourself. And it, there's a key from Albert Vanderbloom. So I have a key, and it says, Dear Rose, wear the mask yourself. Okay. I and have a the, key also. The casket is for Albert Vanderboom. Okay. One of the things I got is a photo slide. So, and then I've got something on the screen here. It says ventilation system activated. Communicate yep. time. We've done that. Yep. Unlock lens. So you seem to be the driver here. Yeah. Okay. So I have a key. I'm going to look at opening each of the, uh, the, the slots in the dresser. Okay. And I got it. So I've unlocked the ball. Oh. So I says, got a mask. Okay, it, a says, mask. it says unlock lens. Use three lens switches to peek inside the room of the person in the past. Maybe I, I guess switches. I need to do that. Yeah, that sounds like you. How do I wear the mask myself? Oh, I, I bet you I put it on the picture of myself. Maybe. I think this is where I use this. Uh, are you able to turn off that venting for a second? I want to see if that's impacting my ability to put the picture on. Or to look at the picture, because I can't zoom into the pictures now. No, it's 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 set now. Okay. Oh, this is probably where the key okay. goes. Okay, I've got the lens. Okay. I think. Uh, so this thing popped out, and there's like three images: one to the right, one to the left, and one to the top of this circular lens. There's a, a cross again, the thermometer thing again, and then an upward arrow. Do you have anything like that around? Oh, I can move um, it too. I can move it around the dial. Describe those again. So there's a, an arrow, a thermometer thing again, and then a cross. No. Or a plus symbol. Okay. Uh, No, I don't have anything like that. So it says, use three lens switches to peek inside the room of the person in the past. Okay. But it I don't know where like I don't know where I'm to place for, these. It seems like I'm looking for another candle. Wear the mask yourself. Like, how do I put this on myself? Yeah, that's probably you're probably gonna see symbols when you put the mask on or something. Yeah. Oh, I have a mirror I can click into. It wouldn't let me click in before. Okay, here we go. Mask is on, dude. Okay. 
the past chapter one. I think, I think, okay. Okay, now what? So I've got the mask on. I'm backing out of the mirror. Now I see like weird, hazy, like snow particles. Okay. And the breeze has stopped. But I don't think I have any other clues here that are new that I can see. Hmm. Do you have any, like, do you have anything that resembles, like, a grid? Like, the only puzzle things I can think of are, like, the, um, the chessboard thing that I described, like, a six-by-six six grid. I've got, um, one candle missing. So there's four candles in a row, and I'm missing one. I can zoom in to, like, the nameplate on the casket, but, like, that's it. I've got a vase with a rose in it, a golden vase with a red rose. Hmm. Maybe I have to put this picture back together. Is that possible? Could be. No. I'm like, I'm just interacting with stuff and looking around. It's this yeah, glass yeah, yeah, yeah. with the um, screwdriver. I wish I could get that. I do have this photo slide, but I don't know where to put it. Hmm. I have like a cassette player too. Oh, you do? Yeah. Can you do anything with that? No, I don't have a cassette to put in. Do you have any items like in your inventory right now? Yeah, just the uh, photo slide. I don't know what to do with it. It's got to be some. Oh, wait, wait. Something on this door is, is blinking at me. Okay. So, okay. When I zoom into this door, it looked like the, the bottom right of it uh, shimmered. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that little uh, undo thing I was talking about earlier is triggering these flashing things on this eye. And um, oh, oh, there's an eye. Okay. Yeah. That might be related to the lens. Okay, makes sense. So, oh yes, you said the you said the temperature thing. So that's at the bottom of this. Okay. There's an arrow pointing to the left. Okay. Okay. Now we're talking. Because yeah. there's an arrow on here. Straight okay. left. Yeah. So what's your what does it look like? What is your pattern? Uh, well, there's like three tabs almost, and they can be moved yep. around the circle. Okay. So one was an arrow, the other one is like a thermometer, so a line with a dot, and then a cross. So you can move those around. Yeah, I can move them around the, the okay. circle. It looks like a, an eye or like a lens. E exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to okay. tell you where those go. Okay. So the arrow goes on the left. Yeah. The thermometer goes in the bottom. Yeah. And the cross goes on the right. Boom. I'm zooming in. I think I can see in, in the past now. So you can see my stuff. So I, I'm looking at the oh. awesome double door. Yeah, okay. So on that double door, you see all those things I was describing earlier? Yep. I can click on and they make a sound on the panes on the left. So like the little monument, the butterfly thing, the guy with the helmet, the, the tree, the knife, and the cube. Okay. So when like, I'm looking, what I'm looking at is I see the two doors. And on the right side, there's the six panes, right? And the top right one, the mountain, is like blinking. It's 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 black and white. It's got no colors and it's blinking. Same with the tree and the cube. Is that doing that for you? No, it's not. So those okay. are probably the ones I need to activate. Yeah. Did it. Did it. Okay. okay. So now that 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 made a change to the eyeball lens thing that you're talking about. Okay. So that changed the positions of these. Do you want to go and change those positions? Yeah, see, you're driving now, so it's switching back and forth. Okay, sweet. So... The eyeball is actually split. So previously I gave you left, bottom, and right. Okay? Yep. But there's a bunch of extra um, segments in here. Do you also see that around like this outer circle type thing? Um, I s there are segments, yeah, okay. around the eye. Okay. So instead of directly to the left, that arrow. Okay, yeah. Now, yeah. It's, like, now it's one slot above that. Yep. The uh, thermometer is one slot to the left instead yep. of directly bottom. But the cross is now not on the right. It's one slot to the right of the top slot. Okay. Done. So Did now now I've gone back to the door again, and it's the yep. uh, the butterfly thing, top left, and the yep. knife. Okay. I've done it, and it's adjusted the positions again. Okay. Okay. So now on that, uh, that lens, um, the thermometer is one slot down from the left okay. the arrow is one slot to the left from the top okay and the cross is one slot down from the right okay going back in 
And now it's the top two and the bottom two. Okay. And now... Oh. Oh. I think that might have unlocked my door. It did. You can open the door now? Yep. I open the door. Oh, that sucks. I now, can't see it. Okay. It's like a closet. But inside, there's a doll hanging from the left with a one button on the eye and a bunch of, like, stitches. Okay. There's another candle. So I can take that candle... Okay, hold on. I'm going to take that candle and light the last thing on this um, candelabra, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a key. Okay, so that's going to unlock another drawer. Hold on. So I've got another update on the monitor. It says visual contact with the person in the past achieved. Flip the six Sweet. switches to the correct position and insert floppy disk. Okay, yeah. So that's coming because there's some weird stuff in that closet. Okay. But I found a diary with an ear on it, it looks like. So something to keep in mind. Like, okay. A <laughs> not, a, not a real ear. looks like a drawing of an ear. So you're a psychopath. Okay, psychopath serial killer. Got it. That Whoa. matches. Whoa. 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 What? Okay. So inside the closet, I've got what, what I would describe as like a porthole on like a submarine. Okay. So you can mm -hmm. like look through this little porthole. I've also got this weird... There's like a square and two rectangles inside of a larger box that looks like it wants me to insert stuff into them. And then I've got this um, looks like a sort of dresser that can open. There's two doors that go side to side maybe, but I can't open them. Okay. And then I oh, I also have some, some drawings and oh, it's telling me what I need to do. Okay, geez. Uh, it, are you sitting on a puzzle right now? Yeah, it's just it's six switches uh, that are arranged yep. like three on the top and then three on the I bottom. I gotcha. Yeah. I'll tell you that order. Okay. Up, down, up. Down, down, down. Hold on, hold on. Up, down, up, down, down, down. Yeah. Okay. So I got the disc. Okay. And oh. if I look in that in that porthole, the first time I looked in there, an eye looked at me and said, "Who is there?" or "Who is this?" Creepy. But that's it. Now I can't go. Now I won't do anything. So I inserted the floppy disk. Okay. But uh, nothing's happening. Enter. Oh, okay. That's okay. I still have more instructions. So I have this thing. The oh, there we go. Device, no, I didn't insert is... it all the way. Okay. Loading extraction program. There's a coffin. Yes. I have a coffin. Albert Remember. Vanderboom. Yep. That's the coffin. So the, it says Albert Vanderboom and the L... V A E R O oh. are blinking. I can click on. on them. Uh L B A. So L V is in Vanderboom. <laughs> yeah, V is in Vanderboom. A yeah. uh E R O. In Vanderboom or in Albert? So the L is in Albert. Yeah. The V is in Vanderboom. <laughs> and yeah. A E R O are are from are in Vanderboom. A E R first O or second O? First O. It's opening the casket, dude. Oh, <laughs> great. I see my dead dad in here. Oh. And there's a triangle piece, the altar key. Because, okay. So in the nose. Okay. So I can inspect him. I can see the nose. I can see his pocket. And in his pocket, there is a photo of a red-haired woman. Could be me when I'm older. And it says IDAV on it. Okay. So IDAV. Yeah, it says, please answer validation question after coffin is open. What is closest okay. to the heart of Albert Vanderboom? Yeah, IDAV, I guess. Unless that's reversed and it's supposed to be like VADI. Well, I'll try IDAV. IDAV. It is uh, four letters. Okay. The person in the past places the altar key and obtains three substances. Bone, yes. flesh, and blood. Select instructions. Yes. yes. Okay. So on that little... Um, so I've got these set of instructions, right? I've got something about bone, flesh, and blood. One is the ear, which is coming from the, the diary, probably. And these correspond to slots that I have on that weird device that I described. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the bone is a tooth I need to probably take out of my dad's face. Mm -hmm. And flesh <laughs> is from his nose, I think. Wow. So I gotta. I think I have to do this. Well, the flesh is the ear, and then blood. Is what yeah, but it's actually not inserting like I thought it was going to. But maybe I need them all first. Okay, so hold on. Let me go back to the. Uh... 
So, um, for in the on my screen, it says in this order: bone, flesh, blood. I don't know if that makes any difference for you. But it, I, I can't it change. Might. Them. It might. Oh wait, I can open the altar with this key. Hold on. Hold it on. says this select could... instructions though, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm on. Oh, to oh, oh, here. oh, oh, wait. I'm unlocking hatches. Me too. I just opened something. So did that do something for you? It says go to the hatch. Communicate teeth sequence with the person in the past. Obtain bone. Mouth opener. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're gonna have to tell me how to extract it. That's go what's to happening. the hatch. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, Go to the hatch. I'm at the teeth hatch. Yeah, so there's, I'm gonna open um, this guy's. I'm gonna open his mouth. Okay. So you're gonna have to describe the order or or what tooth I need to pull or something. I think. Oh yeah, okay. So I have a row of lights, two two okay. rows of lights. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten each. Uh, yep. So it's correct. the fifth one from the left on the top that's lit right now. Fifth one from the left at the, yep. on the top. Okay. Now now that moved. I clicked that, and that moved the second on the bottom. So from the did left? You click that. From the left? Yeah, second from the left. Yeah. And now the uh, th third from the left on the top lit up. Okay. Now the sixth from the left on the bottom lit up. Six. Okay. So now or, it's the third from... Is, is shaking. Third from the right on the top. Okay. Now the... First on the right on the top is shaking. Okay, now it's the fourth from the left on the bottom. Okay, now it's the third from the right on the bottom. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six from the left on the top. So right next to the first one you pushed. Okay, that got me the tooth. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now, the only other thing we're going to need to figure out is some nose thing, but... Uh... Hold on. So it says press X okay. to return. Press enter to confirm. I guess. Hey, my candle is. Did not the lit. person in the past obtain bone? Yes, right? Yes. 